To make a perfect cup of fair trade coffee, we must look deep into the process. More than just the end result of an environmentally and socially sustainable chain of production, a cup of fair trade coffee has been known to alight the senses. Under its Latin name, Café Arabica spread from Eastern Africa to the Middle East. Grown amongst the luscious fauna of the tropical savanna, the extracted essence of coffee beans became a culinary staple of Sufis and emperors alike. The robust ambrosia was associated with a curious awakening power, and once consumed could sustain man through the most arduous of tasks. It assumed a crucial role in religious ceremonies, for a sip of the liquid sent a tingling sensation throughout the body. Its transcendent reputation was so well known that one man even claimed to levitate a few centimeters from the ground after a whiff of the heavenly aroma. While technological obstacles have impeded scientific proof of this anecdote, coffee was banned in the Ottoman Empire due to its incendiary nature and association with revolutionary politics. To temper the hot-bodied liquid, milk was added to the drink. Much importance lay upon the creamy substance's ability to diminish rebellious activity at its life source. Coffee and its capacity to assemble were not limited to public squares. No, no. By the mid-17th century, cafes began to appear in grand plazas and on boulevards, established to protect and honor the drink's important legacy. People came from far and wide to gather at the communal table and share in coffee's intricate bouquet. In dimly lit salons, sparks ignited among strangers. In fact, coffee's incandescent perfume was deemed an aphrodisiac after Napoleon III met his Eugenie while enjoying a mug of the warm brew. Once succumbed to its full flavor, she could not resist the stranger on the other side of the tea table. While more research must be conducted before any conclusions can be drawn on coffee's full potential, it has been proven time and time again to stir even the most resolute ascetic. Yet, it is a humble bean. While it has risen to the most opulent of tables, to this day it can be found in the most impoverished of students' travel mugs. It can be brewed innumerable ways for varied palates, but at its heart, coffee is the same in all cultures. Let us return to our shared roots. Come and get fresh with a student body under the thatched roof.